Hi YouTube, we're going to do um, the Mets new song, Blind Youth Industrial Park. Um, need like some uh, high gain uh, kind of setting uh, or a, a distortion, you know, high gain distortion pedal or an amplifier or a modeling amp. Uh, so I hear uh, several guitars on the song, so it's either overdubbed or there's more than one guitarist in the band. I have not seen them uh, perform it, but I would recommend you use uh, drop D tuning. So you take your E string, you drop it down until it sounds like your uh, number four string, your D string, to one octave lower. And what that allows you to do is to play uh, one finger uh, bar chords at, on the fifth and sixth fret. Something like that. It's a, the the main riff. So it's it's like a on the third, second, first frets on strings five and six, and then there's like a little. I heard uh, Kurt Vile called this a scronk. He said, "Yeah, yeah, you just you go, you play this scronk." <laughs> All right, so play a little uh, scronk, and that would be on strings uh, five and four at the third fret. Right? You, you, I also they may be playing this up here. I have a feeling they are. You can play it a lot faster because the, the frets are so close together. So, uh, something like that, okay? You have to you know, really uh, listen to it closely if you want to get more. Uh, and I, you know, I think there's another guitar playing like a, your A shape. Well, they're, you know, you bar it and... You don't have to play all three strings. You could play uh, just strings four and three. Kind of get that uh, one finger bar chord action with that. But uh, that's I, I, the part I'm, I'm thinking of though is there's one part uh, this is the main, like I would call it, like the verse. And then there's the... This is like, I guess, the chorus. I, you know, it's just a different part of the song. Uh, so they're playing, um, I would say this is at the uh, 10th fret on strings uh, four, three, two. You're barring them. You're going up to the 11th fret. And then you're gonna, uh, with your ring finger, go up to the 13th fret. There is a uh, breakdown at minute, uh, like like two minutes, 25 seconds, to try to figure it out more from that. But I, I think this is 90% uh, of the song. I'm sure there's other things. I hear a guitar in there at one point. It's like...
think it's uh, maybe the 15th fret on the high E string and uh, the 17th fret on the B string. It's, it's doing some kind of effect like that. Uh, definitely strings, you know, two strings that are kind of not. Yeah, it might be this one too. Like this is just another common bend. Um, so you're playing this on your uh, your B string and your G string. Your B, you know, your B, and the, your index is on the B string. Then you just bend up the your ring finger until it sounds like the uh, the the notes sound near the same. You're doing some kind of bend like that at the beginning. They may not be, uh, they may be going beyond the same. Because if you bend it up uh, too high, it sounds kind of cool too. <laughs> Alright, so uh, those are my thoughts on uh, this uh, cool, uh, cool new song. I like the video. Uh, like, I like the, uh, I like the title of the song. Um, so, have fun with it. That's the most important thing. Alright, bye.